What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new video today. I have some more optic basketball. Now I call these rack packs or hanger packs. Um, you guys always the official name is C-E-L-L-O. So I don't know if that's cello or cello. I mean, personally, I would call it cello, but I've never actually heard anyone say it before. Um, but yeah, so if you guys actually know the actual pronunciation, let me know down below. But I've always called these rack packs. Whenever I refer to these, if you hear me say rack packs, I'm referring to these. That's just how I kind of grew up saying it. But these are $10 at Target. There are also um, different stuff at Walmart we need to try. But Walmart, Walmart can be a little tougher for me to get because Walmart, my Walmart isn't the best. But yeah, these are uh, pretty interesting. You get three packs and one bonus pack with three blue velocity parallels and I actually have some in my collection but I couldn't find them I think I have DeAndre Ayton and I have Jaron Jackson so yeah but uh, here is kind of what we can see in here it's so small you guys can probably barely read it but you can get checkerboards purples blue velocities um, base pink number to, number to 25 really huh that's pretty cool and autos too so actually there's a lot of decent stuff to find I would encourage you to just pause the video right now and you can see all the stuff in there signature series and Raider rookie stuff um, nice so there's pinks and checkerboards and purples we're looking for in these pretty nice I think that um, all the optic retail formats are worth buying or equally worth buying I should say and let me move these top loaders I had protecting the packs so they'd stand up but uh, for example prison basketball I don't like the the rack packs that much and proof of that is I didn't rip too many of them I think I had several chances where I walked into my target and saw a full stock of them and I just left them there for someone else because I personally don't like the red white and blues um, as an exclusive retail parallel some people like them I personally don't I like blasters where you can get number parallels purple waves and like uh, mega boxes are okay for me I left those too I didn't touch those but yeah they're uh, these ones are ten dollars these ones I actually do like, so when I saw them, I was pretty excited. And they have some solid stuff in these ones. I've actually never ripped that many optic formats of these of these uh, rack packs before, so it'd be pretty cool to see what we can get. Last year, I passed on it a lot. Keep in mind, up until the whole Luka craze and stuff, optic wasn't. It was a nice product, but it was never like on prism tier, and it's like almost at prism tier now. And it's crazy how it jumped, but everyone wants wants to uh, get in on the action. So these are yeah, multi packs, another name. So let's see what we can get. If you haven't already, oh, you know what? My bad. I know some of you guys said not to. Uh, I need to stop opening it from the back. I need to do it like this, so you guys don't spoil the card. That's my bad. We'll try to stop doing that. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Ring the little bell down below to be notified whenever I post. Tons of basketball, football content. Everything I can get my hands on, everything new I'll try to get. But we got Lou Williams, James Harden, uh, who is that? Uh, Goran Dragic, purple, and Darius Garland, the little spoiler. So my bad on that one. But that's nice. Also, I have a giveaway going on right now. If you're interested, you can go to my video I posted on Sunday. It's probably several videos ago. Um, you can't miss it. The thumbnail is the face reveal one. And giveaway it says it on the thumbnail. All you gotta do is like that video, comment, ring the bell, and um, and subscribe, and you can be entered to win hobby box or nice single of your choice. Mitchell Robinson, Tim Hardaway Jr. We have an insert here. Splash, Giannis, developing Splash. He he can't shoot lights out, but his jump shot has gotten better. I mean, there's a few games where he just goes off randomly. It's a nice insert. I like it. I am very disappointed. That this year we don't have the oh uh, whoops crunch crunch time was it right I think that was the insert this insert called crunch time and Don Rose hobby that we didn't get an optic form and I wish we did all right I need to remember to not open it from the back it's bad habit guys my bad Montrose Harrell Bogdanovich Hakeem Winter stays and Tremont Waters it's officially a Pac-Man break all right. You gotta bear with me when you've been when you've ripped like tens of thousands of packs one way it's kind of hard to change the way you do it all right so here are our blue velocities very nice 
look pretty cool. Of course, there's the pink and the black ones in Hobby. So these blue ones are pretty cool. Brooke Lopez. Uh, oh, possible rated rookie. Yes. Oh, Roy. Roy! Not centered well, but it's Roy. Hachimura for my collection. That centering top to bottom is not very good. See that border there and there? Uh, these will go here. Once again, guys, don't worry. Whenever I mix up the piles, they always end up in the right place in the end. One thing I don't like about like chrome cards when you're making stacks is they kind of slide around a lot. So like, drop it, and sh they all shift. But um, oh gosh, oh, my bad. All right, next pack we gotta not do that. But I'm very excited for that card in the back. And I'll show you why. Justice Winslow, Eric Gordon, Fantasy Stars Curry, and Kendrick Nunn. But you wouldn't know just by the picture, right? Um, this one has no name, and that's because Panini kind of had a production error, and all Kendrick Nunn cards and Luka uh, Samanik, they don't have their names on them. So Kendrick Nunn, this is actually a pretty cool card. That's a good one to get, definitely. There we go. There we go. All right. But yeah, um, these piles are, this is base, this is highlights, and this is everything else. Just so it's easier to recap in the end. Uh, so on white side, we have uh, Chris Middleton purple and Bruno Fernando. So all these centering, uh, all these cards are kind of off-centered in the same exact way. Let's see if we can get some purple jaw or purple Zion or an autograph. That'd be cool. DJ Augustine, Kevin Knox. We have a My House, RJ Barrett. That's a pretty cool insert. And Thomas Bryant. I like that. That's new. That's a nice card. Let's uh, see what we get in our velocity pack. These packs are kind of flimsy. And you can also see through them. So, yeah. It's harder to open the pack kind of backwards. At least for me it's backwards from the way I usually open it. Mike Conley, Damian Lillard, and Bruno Fernando. And all my cards are centered the same way, so look. Super thick, super thin, thick border, thin border, so they're all like that. Sometimes it happens. When production rises as much as it does just the way it is now, quality control definitely dips as a result. And we've definitely seen that when I ripped my prism uh, rack packs, they were very off, like, printed. So I'm kind of used to it now. I'd like to pull one other notable card. We're, we already got the Rui and the Kendrick Nunn. We have a hollow here. Ah, yeah, it's Gary Harris. Gary Troll Harris. Dennis Schroeder. See, I like numbered parallels in packs, which is why I like these, because if I can get a pink or a something like that, that'd be nice. D'Angelo Russell, Al Horford, Express Lane Bledsoe, Kobe White. It's a shame that they're all centered the same way, because if one's bad, they're all going to be bad. All right, let's get some parallels, come on. Looks like we have an insert parallel. JJ Redick, Goran Dragic, Dame Lillard, Express Lane, and Justin Holiday. Grizzlies just got that win against the Blazers. So go Grizz. Although I think Dame, Damian Lillard got hurt. I didn't watch to the end, but I think I saw a notification about that or something. Alright. It's kind of hard opening these backwards. And these packs are like, if you rip these for yourself, you'll know how. Kind of flimsy these packs are. Giannis, that's a good one. Hey, Baisley, there's another good one. And Chris Paul, Thunder Love right there. And the centering is so bad top to bottom. That's a pretty nice card. All right, three of these left. So 12 packs. I'll see what we can get. All right, 
Looks like we got a purple. Trey, LeBron, Miles Turner, Cam Johnson. All right, next one. I'd love to get my hands on some more of these, but the target I found these at only had six. They're not even giving full allocations to targets anymore, so usually they just take a whole rack pack box and put all 12 on the rack. Not anymore. T minus three, two, one, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gay. But yeah, the prices are crazy. I don't think next year's draft class will be, you know, at least as of now, you never know what can happen. We'll be, have as much hype as this current class, so prices and demand should definitely level out. And I dip a bit, but my house, Luka Doncic, that is nice. And Jackson Hayes. I like this one. I'll put that here. See, these just, these rip so easily. Okay. Draymond. Joe Allen Bede. Brasdikas. It's a rookie. I'll put it here. Last two. All right. Pack one. Let's see some pink action. Come on. All right. Nicola, Donovan Mitchell, we have a uh, Lou Williams Express Lane Hollow, and Kyle Lowry. See, that's why I like the back card to just be a, a base card. This way it doesn't matter if I open it from the back, but yeah, Optic, they put some good stuff there sometimes. Otto Porter Jr., we have a Splash, Westbrook. So our, both our Splashes are guys who I would not Consider good shooters. Westbrook, who is sometimes West Brick, and Giannis, who is working on the shot. We'll say that. Langford there. All right, come on, let's get something nice. Got Olenek. Gerald Green. Winner stays, Magic Johnson and DeAndre Ayton. It's a nice card there, insert of Magic. That's a hollow, and then we have a little blue velocity pack. Let's see if we can get anything. We have a Pelican, but it's Drew, Taco Fall, and Joe Harris. So there you go, Taco Fall, the fan favorite. Every time he checks into a Celtics game, they go nuts. Last one. Here we go. This is it. If we can get it open. There we go. But overall, I would say it's a solid break. We got two, three highlights already. And we have this pack remaining. See, with Optic, the exclusives, kind of like the pinks and the checkerboard, they're so rare, hard to hit. Terry and <laughs> as expected, Tremont Waters, Dylan Lindler. I, I'm just hoping. I don't. I'm not gonna say he sucks, but right, he definitely doesn't suck. I just hope that he's like really, really good because I have a mountain of Tremont Waters stuff. So I'm not saying he's good. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying I would love for him to pan out. Marcus Smart, Paul George, winner stays Dirk. And Jer Allen, last regular pack, and then we get to our blue velocity. Harrison Barnes, that first one. Rajon Rondo, Devin Booker, Express Lane, and Melly. Here we go, last one. Wish us luck. All right, we got Bogdanovich. We have Ben Simmons, and we have Mikhail Bridges. So there go our velocities. Let's recap the non-highlights real quick. Tons of blues, three per pack. So 
Here we go. We got some rated rookies as usual. Inserts, purples, hollows. One hollow um, base out of six packs. So for 60 bucks, pretty much. And tax too. What card is it here? It's so. Oh, okay. That card was super, super white. All right. We have our regular appearance of Tremont Waters, obviously. Taco Fall, Velocity. We got Westbrook, uh, Bresdakis, My House Luca, Baisley, Kobe White, Fernando, RJ Barrett, My House, Kendrick Nunn, Rui, and Garland. So I think the three highlights are. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with four. Four highlights today. We got Taco, fan favorite, RJ insert, then the cool Kendrick Nunn, and Hachimura. These, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm filtered down to two. So they made like the finals, but the winner championship is these two. These are cool. The no name is cool, but at the same time, I do wish it had the name because I don't know, I just wish it had the name. But um, I wish it was a kind of like heritage where you can find like no names, you can find errors or you know trade variations stuff like that short prints and um but yeah nice brewery too for the pc so overall i think that all the optic uh, retail versions we tried are worth buying um at at retail like retail price resale it gets kind of fudgy and i can't uh can't give my endorsement at that price but i do love optic now um you know the way that they're doing things they change up the mega box which i like way more than the way they just give the set uh, these ones they didn't change too much, but I'd never ripped them before. So I actually do like these a lot. These are better than the Prism ones, in my opinion. Blasters, I don't like as much as uh, Prism Blasters. But so far, loving it. A lot of fun. And um, hopefully we can hit some more nice stuff from our remaining optic boxes. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.